let's remove that birdhouse from that uh, platanus tree so I can do some uh, leaf work. As you can see, a woodpecker probably broke into this birdhouse and it ate the uh, little tits that made this their home. Yeah, nature can be uh, cruel. Um, I think this uh, hole is just a little bit too big for uh, uh, tits. It's kind of difficult to measure with all the damage, but 36. And I'm pretty sure that's too much. 27 millimeters. And uh, that works for the little tits, as you can see from this uh, old recording. Now that I have the birdhouse removed from the tree, let's have a look inside and see if there's a nest. Well, that's not going to work. I need a pair of pliers. Yeah. Huh. Not much of a nest. I'll clean out the dirt for the uh, next inhabitants. I have definitely seen a better nest than this. So that's clean. I guess it wouldn't be very difficult to make a new uh, door for this uh, birdhouse. But yeah, then I don't get to play with my life. So the job for today is to find a washer, or make a washer, that will make this hole a little bit smaller. Tit size. Let's see if I have a washer that is big enough to cover that hole. This might work. A bit thick. But unfortunately I don't have a forge jar for my old lathe. Huh. I think I used uh, one of these to fix my uh, wheelbarrow. Or maybe it was one of these. No, too small. Perhaps this. It's a bit thick. No, also too small. I guess I need to search elsewhere. So I found something. It's also a bit thick. But I guess it could work. It's large enough. Let's check it out. I'm setting up the uh, depth stop that I made a few years ago because I'm certain that I need to use it rust I guess that's what happens when you neglect your relief hobby because of uh, other priorities the last bit of my uh, hard Arkansas file well let's install this and I did uh, clean out the uh, the bore of the spindle. Unfortunately this is not going to work and I've already tried the other jaws. This chuck just isn't big enough. So I guess I will have to remove this thing again. Unfortunately this step is not going to work. Let's try the other. Well, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to turn this down or to face this off. But you use what you got. So I put some oil into the bearings and I thought it would be a good idea to first uh, drill through this piece. Then there will be less material to face off. Now let's see if this uh, leaf still runs. It should. And it does. And now a five millimeter hole.
No problem. Let's switch to a tapered drill bit. And this is 15.5 millimeters. And that's done. I don't know, this should be large enough to use a boring wire. I set up a tool bit, let's make that disc a little thinner. Looks like this is getting awfully close to the jaws. I guess I will need to uh, space this out a bit. Well, I guess uh, this should work for now. I'm apologizing for the poor video angle but I'm trying out a different uh, tripod and this is the best I could do alright here we go Alright, I will uh, continue doing this for a while and then uh, later I'll flip the workpiece. It's a bit rough, but not hot. Let's uh, flip this piece around. And just a moment ago I was cutting into the, uh, the jaws of the chuck. Nice sparks, but it's not what I want. Now it really doesn't matter that this piece is a little thick. It's not like those uh, tits will complain. I've lightly tightened up the jaws and now I'm using the uh, tool bit to push it in a bit. Yeah, probably good enough. Alright, let's make a few more chips. And again, I apologize for the video angle. And this tool post will probably be in the way. I'll try to make this a little bit thinner. And then we move to the drill press. And punch a couple of holes through here. I know, first we need to bore it out. Nice chips. I'm starting to like this uh, tool bit. Thinner than this. I'm not going to get it. It's good enough. It's almost perfect. Let's set up a boring bar. Alright, let's start the boring bit. Unfortunately, the underside of the boring bar is not going to fit in this hole, so I will have to switch out to this uh, smaller boring bar. As you can see, this uh, smaller boring bar is fitting, and I know there's a lot of uh, stick out, but it does give you a better uh, video angle.
Now, I don't want to overshoot my mark, so let me uh, get my calibers. About 22 millimeters, so five more to go. Unfortunately, the camera stopped recording, but I think I'm there. <laughs> 28, well, that's fine. Tits don't care. Let's move to the drill press and punch a couple of screw holes so here. I could probably uh, glue this on, but that's not really my style. And it will probably come off when this uh, starts to rust again. And that will happen. All right, time to drill some holes. So I set up a center drill. And I'm hoping that this uh, tapered part will line up with the uh, wood screws I'm going to use. Here we go. Well, I think that uh, worked out okay-ish. Let's drill the other holes. Alright, done. It looks like I need to find a better wood screw because this one is uh, very rusty. I think these uh, screws might be a bit long. So the uh, tits need to be careful. I really should get my electric drill. So, job done. Yeah, the screws were a bit long. Well, I'll grind these down with my Dremel. I don't want those uh, tits to get hurt. Especially not the little ones when they uh, fly out. Man, that is stinking up the place. Alright, I guess I'm done for tonight. I'll see if I can uh, mount this on the tree tomorrow. At least it should be done before the uh, birds start laying eggs. Yeah, I think the uh, tits will like this and hopefully some of them will move in next spring. And I did find a better wood screw. All right. Good morning. It's a bit frosty today. So let's uh, quickly reinstall that birdhouse and later in the spring I will uh, burn that pile. Damn battery. So that's the uh, titty house installed. Anyway, that's it for this uh, shit show. Like, subscribe, yada yada yada, and to be continued.